hello and welcome to another episode of Disney Movie Investigation. If this is your first time watching, welcome to the show. In each episode, we take a look at a movie that is featured on Disney+. Plus. On this episode, we are taking a look at one of the Marvel Cinematic Universe's movies as we take a look at Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. And if you are enjoying these videos, I do ask that you please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified with each new episode. Now, sit back and enjoy this episode of Disney Movie Investigation. So like I said, today we are covering Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Uh, this movie was released on February 6, 2023. It was directed by Pete and Reed. Uh, it was written by Jeff Loveness. And the production company was Marvel Studios. And it was distributed by Walt Disney Studios. Uh, the budget for this movie was $276 million, and it did a box office return of $476.1 million. But let's take a look at the production. Uh, so just prior to the release of Ant-Man and the Wasp, uh, director Peyton Reed hinted that there would be a third movie. Um, he said that a third movie would explore the quantum realm and that, he, that this had been introduced in the previous films and he wanted to further explore that. Um, he would go on to state that also Marvel Studios was interested in doing a third film as long as the script was right. Uh, again, further confirmation came from stars Michael Douglas, Paul Rudd, and Evangeline Lilly uh, that they wanted to do a third film as well. Uh, during the early days of the COVID-19 shutdown, the script was entirely written by Jeff Loveness, and he uh, developed to going back to the original source material to develop a third movie. It was announced in August of 2020 that the film was in development, and Evangeline Lilly was still involved in the film, despite her controversial comments about the COVID-19 uh, pandemic that she had made to the media. In September of 2020, Jonathan Majors was cast as Kang the Conqueror, uh, and because his character was involved in the Disney Plus limited series Loki, Kate Heron and Michael Waldron, who were the head directors of the, uh, the head director and the head writer, were uh, involved in the casting process as well. The title of the movie was officially announced during the Disney Investor Day in December of 2021. And it was titled that the movie would indeed be called Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. In February of 2021, Turkey's Minister of Culture and Tourism, uh, Mehet Arozi, announced that the shooting of the film had started. And so not only did they film in Turkey, but they also filmed at Pinewood Studios in London. Uh, Christopher Beck had returned to compose the score with a soundtrack being released by Hollywood Records and Marvel Music on February 6, 2000, or February 13, sorry, 2013, uh, 2023. So let's take a look at the cast. Uh, so we have Paul Rudd, who plays Scott Lang, a.k.a. Ant-Man. Evangeline Lilly, who plays Hope Van Dyne, a.k.a. The Wasp. Jonathan Majors as Kang the Conqueror. Catherine Newton as Cassie Lang. Bill Murray as Lord Kylar, Michael Douglas, Michael Douglas as Hank Pym, and Michelle Pfeiffer as Janet Van Dyne. So in terms of the plot, uh, sometime after the blip, Scott Lang returns to living a full life knowing that he had helped save the world. But now, Scott along with his family are accidentally transported down to the quantum realm. And down there, they discover a world of unimaginable, pe unimaginable people that inhibit the realm. But soon after they are there, they discover that Rebellion is at war with, the, with Kang the Conqueror, who intends to conquer the multiverse. Now, Scott must do everything he can to return home with his family and stop Kang from causing mass chaos. So with all Marvel movies, this had an interesting marketing. Uh, so fans were shown footage of the film, the first footage of the film at San Diego Comic-Con in 2022, with additional clips shown at the D23 Expo later that year in September. Uh, the first teaser trailer would be released on October 24th, 2023, or sorry, 2022, uh, and it featured the song Goodbye Yellow Brick Road by Elton John. Uh, the next trailer would be released during the 2023 College Football National Championship game, um, and then a commercial featuring Paul Rudd, promoting Heineken's non-alcoholic beer was also filmed to promote the film. In addition, Volkswagen uh, used commercials for their SUV ID4 to help promote the film. 
Lang's fictional memoir in the book was actually re released by uh, Marvel Publishing to help release the film and, or to promote the film. And the Disney Plus series Ensembled uh, also aired an episode that showed the behind the scenes footage of the making of the film. Uh, so would I recommend this movie? Um, in terms of Marvel movies, this one is, uh, I don't think is their best. Um, I do like the mixture of humor and action in the movie. Uh, Paul Rudd's performance is definitely a standout. He's able to mix that both humor as well as emotion. Uh, there is a lot, this one is the beginning of phase five. So there is a lot of setup for future Marvel movies. Um, this, my only criticism really is this movie tends to be a little bit long, uh, but that's usually typical for these Marvel movies is they tend to be really, really long stories with a lot of setup for future Marvel movies. Um, so definitely recommend the movie, but it's not one of my like top five Marvel movies that I'm going to go back to very often. So recommend it to check it out as well, but uh, not in the top 10. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us here on another episode of Disney Movie Investigation. I would love to uh, for anyone to please leave a comment below on what they think of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. And as we look forward to our next episode, we're going to return to the Planet of the Apes series as we take a look at the dawn of the Planet of the Apes. So until next time, I hope you have a magical day and we will see you real soon.